Another issue I've had with this lathe is when trying to uh, drill larger holes uh, with the tailstock, uh, it only has so much travel, so at some point uh, you have to push the bit into the hole, uh, tighten down your tailstock, and then start over. And then when you want to clear your chips, you have to loosen your, loosen your tailstock and pull it out, retract, push it back in, and start over again. And uh, also, with, uh, with the Morse taper number one uh, in the tailstock, uh, oftentimes the chuck wants to spin. So when I was thinking about how I could address that, I came across this tool at uh, littlemachineshop.com and it's for the uh, quick change post and it has a Morse taper too. So uh, I can mount a, uh, a drill chuck into the tool holder and I can feed this with the, uh, with the carriage. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out. I'm going to go ahead and set the height of the tool holder. Now to align this with the spindle, uh, I'm going to assume that this outside edge here is parallel to the uh, center of the taper. So I have a test bar set in here and I'm just going to bring it over here and line it up with that and tighten it down there. All right, I have a piece of uh, inch and a quarter uh, hot rolled here, and uh, I'm just going to drill a hole through this. And uh, normally, the the biggest drill that I would use on this lathe is a uh, three quarter inch. Uh, after that, I would just switch over to a boring bar. So I'm going to go ahead and face this part, and I'm going to center drill it using a chuck and a tailstop. I'm just going to line it up with this hole. And I'm going to uh, tighten down this outside gib uh, just to make sure that this doesn't move. This isn't the greatest chuck in the world, but it's that's all I have with a, with a Morse taper too. And if this works out, I'll be shopping around for a nicer one. Alright, so I'm just going to step drill it until I get it up to size.
time trying this, that went really well. Uh, clearing your chips and switching out uh, drill bits is, is a breeze compared to what it would be uh, using the uh, tailstock. Um, the only drawback is for me is that there's less mechanical advantage in using the um, carriage wheel than there is uh, using the tailstock wheel. So it's important for me to uh, step drill it in smaller increments because if I try to push a big bit through there, um, without step drilling it, it's going to be hard pushing it through there. Now I have a Morse Taper 2 to number 1 adapter, so I can still make use of all my uh, Morse Taper number 1 tooling. And if I didn't want to use a chuck, I also have these Morse Taper 2 collets. And on the back side here, I could make a little uh, sleeve and use a short bolt as a drawbar. I was just looking at some of my other tailstock tools, like this uh, die holder. And there's probably other ways that you can use this. This is a really nice tool and for 20 bucks you can hardly go wrong. So that's the video and thanks for watching. <music>